You want to see some of the best things about living in Norwalk? Let's go. One of the most fun and exciting things about living in Norwalk has got to be the Sono area. It's hip and historic. It's got a really fun nightlife aspect to it. There's some really great restaurants, but it's fun during the day too. This is the area where you're going to find most of Norwalk's top rated restaurants. It's hard to lose if you pick something that's on the main drag. The main drag consists of, uh, it's an area on Washington Street and it runs from the railroad bridge to the water. Sono is expanding to areas around, but this is definitely the core, the center of the area. There are some great shopping spots. My personal favorite is Brock's Flowers and Gifts. The staff is great at helping you find the right thing and then they package it all up and it looks amazing. Right across the street from Brock's is the Maritime Aquarium. It's hands down the best aquarium in all of the Gold Coast. Also check out the Sono Switch Tower Museum when you're in the area. Right around the corner from the main drag is the Sono Mall. It's one of America's newest malls. It is like no other. It's got lots of unique stores and it's a really fun place to shop. Another great option for kids is the Stepping Stone Museum. It's just a few blocks away from the Sono Mall. It's behind the Lockwood Matthews Mansion and it's just another fun, interactive, really great place for kids. When my Another great feature about the Sono area is the South Norwalk train station. Not only does it give you access to New York City in about 55 minutes or so uh, in all of its careers and its amenities, but it's right there just a few blocks off the heart of Sono. Do you love beaches? Norwalk's Calf Pasture Beach, also adjoined with Shady, is the largest in town and it's definitely the one that most people frequent in the area. However, if you live in the, Ro the Rowayton neighborhood, you can also use Bailey Beach. You're going to find that it's smaller and it's more intimate. The locals love Bailey Beach. While you're in Rowayton, you've got to check out the little downtown Harborside area. It is just absolutely amazing. You're going to find that it's, there are restaurants and shops. Uh, and if you love nautical areas, this is your spot. It's, there's no other like it in the Gold Coast. It even has its own train station, Row 8 and train station. This is just a true gem. Norwalk also has more public islands right off its coast than any of the other Gold Coast towns. This is a really wonderful way to hop on a powerboat, take a short, quick ride over to one of these islands and just completely unwind and, un and relax. Do you love fresh food? Then Stu Leonard's is an absolute must see. Stewie's is a, the place where locals go to buy their fresh food, meat, produce, etc. But people drive from hours away just to see this place. It's fun for the kids. There's a petting zoo. There's entertainment inside the store. It's a really fun spot to check out. Norwalk has lots of great parks, but there is one that stands above them all. Cranberry Park, sometimes called Gallagher's Park, has lots of fun things to do. You're going to find hiking trails, there's frisbee golf, there are plays in the garage that adjoins the mansion. If you're thinking about moving to Norwalk or the Gold Coast area, I'm going to leave you with some links below in the description. The links are to my website. You can find a relocation package there, as well as several unique search features and other information on the town. Check out those links below.